We've been very fortunate in recent years to have intravitreal injections of anti-VEGF agents that can stabilize um, wet age-related macular degeneration, which was a leading cause of visual blindness in the older age group. However, there is a significant treatment burden with having injections every month or two. There are new drugs that are coming through which are injected into the eye um, that could potentially last longer, uh, three to four months. But what would be really um, cool for patients would be to have a drop that actually could do this treatment for us. So I was hoping I could talk to you a little bit more about a topical anti-VEGF uh, treatment, so an eye drop for wet age-related macular degeneration of which early phase clinical trials have started. The benefit of an eye drop in the treatment of wet age-related macular degeneration could be potentially to extend the interval between injections um, or potentially as a monotherapy, so i.e. use on its own. Now, the benefits of this would be to the patient in terms of convenience and also safety because you're not having to put a needle into the eye. There's also uh, benefits to their relatives um, because of the amount of times that they'd have to come to a clinic would be reduced, which can have significant benefits for the family and uh, friends of, of the patient involved. And also there could be benefits to the healthcare systems. It's a lot easier to administer treatments in drop form than regular injections. So we're quite excited about these developments, although of course they are at an early stage. So the current treatments that are available are injected into the eye and they essentially work by binding to um, VEGF, which is a driver of the uh, disease process in wet age-related macular degeneration. What the panoptica molecule does, which is quite clever, is that it's a very small molecule, about a thousand times smaller than the current injection molecules. And it's able, therefore, to penetrate into the eye and actually target the receptor where the VEGF binds. And it acts on uh, the tyrosine kinase pathway of the VEGF2 receptor uh, to inhibit it and have a beneficial effect, which is meant to be quite similar to how the current intravitreal injections work. So we're in the early phases of clinical trials currently. Um, we're in a current phase 1-2 clinical trial that's being carried out in the US and Europe. There are currently uh, 12 patients enrolled in the US and the reason I'm talking to you today is that we've just had the first patient enrolled in Europe. Uh, in the UK at the Royal Free London NHS Foundation Trust. It's very exciting, it's very early stages, as I say, of the clinical trial process. In early phase clinical trials, you're trying to establish the safety of a new drug, and in particular, with an eye drop, you want to know that it's um, safe in terms of corneal toxicity, so how um, safe it is on the surface of the eye. As well as that, we want to establish um, how efficacious it is, how, how well does it work and um, that will then help us to identify for future studies whether it's going to be used in combination with injections to make the intervals longer between injections, um, maybe used once injections have been used to stabilize the disease and then keep the disease stable, or whether it might even be able to use on its own as a monotherapy. So the clinical trial is currently running at eight sites in the US, seven sites in the UK, and then an additional seven sites in Europe. Now, details of these um, sites that are carrying out the clinical trial are available on the Panoptica website. I should mention, though, that whenever we carry out an early phase clinical trial, we have quite strict what we call inclusion and exclusion criteria. And that's because we're trying to establish um, how the, the drop works in quite a select group of patients and therefore not all patients will be eligible for the early phase clinical trials. So we're still at the early phases of the clinical trials at this stage. Provided we show um, a good efficacy signal so that the, the, the drug is working and it has a good safety profile for patients, 
then it can progress to the later phase clinical trials, which often involve much larger groups of patients. It would be at least five years until this drop was available in an eye clinic um, for uh, doctors to prescribe to their patients. As well as the indication for wet age-related macular degeneration, there is excitement to actually expand this drug to other therapeutic areas, including in the management of diabetic retinopathy and the management of edema associated with vein occlusions.